China's hypersonic missiles like the DFZF represent a game-changing threat in modern warfare. Capable of speeds exceeding Mach 5, these missiles can maneuver unpredictably during flight, evading traditional defense systems. Their development marks a significant leap in military technology, posing a direct challenge to global security. With ranges covering strategic targets across the Pacific, these weapons are designed to penetrate even the most advanced missile shields. The U.S. now faces the urgent question, can it intercept these unstoppable projectiles? The U.S. relies on systems like Aegis, THAAD, and Patriot to counter missile threats. Aegis-equipped destroyers use advanced radar to track incoming projectiles, while ground-based interceptors are designed to hit targets mid-flight. However, these systems were primarily developed for traditional ballistic missiles, which follow predictable trajectories. Hypersonic missiles, with their speed and agility, push these defenses to their limits. Recent tests reveal interception success rates below 50%, highlighting a critical vulnerability in America's shield. Intercepting hypersonic missiles is a monumental technical challenge. Their blistering speed leaves minimal reaction time, while their ability to maneuver mid-flight defies traditional interception calculations. Thermal masking techniques make them harder to detect, and their low-altitude flight paths avoid radar coverage. Even if detected, current interceptors struggle to adjust to their erratic movements. This combination of speed, stealth, and unpredictability creates a perfect storm that existing U.S. defenses weren't designed to handle. The U.S. is racing to develop next-generation defenses against hypersonic threats. Experimental systems include directed energy weapons like laser arrays that can hit targets at light speed, eliminating the need to predict complex trajectories. Space-based sensor networks aim to provide earlier detection, while AI-powered systems attempt to predict hypersonic flight paths. Though promising, these technologies remain in testing phases. The arms race continues, with billions invested to close this critical gap in national defense before it's too late.